The Biden administration is contemplating sending military advisors and equipment, including weapons, to Ukraine as Russia builds up forces near the border. U.S. officials are working with allies regarding another possible Russian invasion. The dialogues about the proposed lethal aid package are underway as Ukraine has started to publicly apprise that an invasion could happen as soon as January. As tensions rise, a particular U.S.-made weapon that's already in the hands of Ukrainian ground forces is in focus. It's the FGM-148 Javelin anti-tank missile. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Cedric Lighton told CNN that Javelin anti-tank missiles are quite effective against the T-80 tanks, which the Russians are actually employing in these efforts against Ukraine right now. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how American-made Javelin could lay waste to Russian armored forces. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. In 2014, Russia took over Crimea. Russia says its seizure of the territory was in response to the will of locals, who voted overwhelmingly to join Russia in a hastily organized referendum in 2014 that was dismissed as illegitimate by the international community. Since then, human rights groups have criticized a crackdown of freedom of speech in the region and the indigenous Crimean Tatar population has reported harassment and arrests. The takeover provoked a wider military standoff in eastern Ukraine that hasn't ceased to date. Recently, it became evident that Russia is amassing troops and weaponry in Crimea and near its borders with Ukraine. Viewers may note that Ukraine is currently an ally of NATO, but not a member. Any Russian thrust inside Ukraine is expected to be led by tanks like T-80 when it comes to battle on the ground and sets the stage for the Javelin offensive. The FGM-148 is an American man-portable fire-and-forget anti-tank missile fielded to replace the M47 Dragon anti-tank missile in U.S. service. It uses automatic infrared guidance that allows the user to seek cover immediately after launch as opposed to wired guided systems like the Dragon where the user has to actively guide the weapon throughout the engagement. It's manufactured by Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. The missile, being highly portable, is a key anti-tank weapon. The Javelin system is most often carried by a two-person team consisting of a gunner and an ammunition bearer, although it can be fired with just one person if necessary. The Javelin missile is ejected from the launcher so that it reaches a safe distance from the operator before the main rocket motors ignite, a soft launch arrangement. This makes it harder to identify the launcher. Backblast from the launch tube still poses a hazard to nearby personnel. Via the fire and forget system, the firing team may change their position as soon as the missile has been launched, 
or prepare to fire on their next target while the first missile is in the air. As a fire and forget missile, after launch the missile has to be able to track and destroy its target without the gunner. The Javelin's high explosive anti-tank heat warhead is capable of defeating modern tanks by attacking them from above where armor is generally thinner and is also useful against fortifications in a direct attack flight. The tandem warhead is fitted with two shaped charges, a precursor warhead to detonate any explosive reactive armor and a primary warhead to penetrate base armor. It has a range of 4.75 kilometers or around 3 miles. In UK vehicle tests in June 2016, Javelin missiles scored 100% in five test firings from a UK-owned ground vehicle. Each Javelin flew distances between 1.2 and 4.3 kilometers or 0.75 and 2.67 miles and hit the ground target each time. UK's live fire tests confirm Javelin's greater than 94% reliability rate and demonstrate Javelin's capability to engage targets from increased standoff distances on various platforms. According to Ukrainian military assessments provided to the Military Times, Ukrainian defense officials have projected that Russia could use the dozens of battalion tactical groups currently stationed near Ukraine's borders to launch an attack from multiple sides, including from annexed Crimea. While Russia had the element of surprise in its side in 2014, things are different now. In 2018, Ukraine purchased 210 Javelin missiles and 37 launchers. At the end of 2019, Ukraine announced it had signed contracts to purchase another 150 missiles and 10 launchers. On June 21, 2020, they were sent to Ukraine. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said last week, our concern is that Russia may make a serious mistake of attempting to rehash what it undertook back in 2014 when it amassed forces along the border, crossed into sovereign Ukrainian territory, and did so claiming falsely that it was provoked. Though it's unclear if Russia will initiate an invasion again, one thing is for sure, if it does so, this time the situation could turn ugly for Russian forces. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.